Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are kicking off the stream with a hype train. Thank you ever so much to everybody chipping in. My goodness. Let's see if I can go back here. We've got Grandpa Crafter gifting a tier one sub to Crosshatch5. Cosmic Dancer gifting a tier one sub to Kel Birdie. Word Nerdify resubscribed for 24 months. Big two year anniversary for Word Nerdify. Sweet Sandy used 100 bits. Mind Trip Media used 100 bits and is now lurking in the background, no doubt. And Word Nerdify has gifted one sub, and that went to Socially In Inept. I think that's. I think that's. Socially Inept, yeah. Without, without drop caps. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to see some usernames sometimes. Uh, that's amazing. Thank you ever so much for the support to kick off the stream, folks. If you'd like to jump in on that hype train, you'll get an emote from Twitch. It is 100 bits or a tier one or prime sub. Both the tier one and prime sub will get you access to my Discord. You just have to connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts, and then you'll see the Joel Duggan Discord come up in your connections tab. Trans Evie, hello. Welcome in. Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, we are hanging out outside of West Hill. We are going to pick up where we left off. We were working on this wagon and the uh, new changes to the crossroads at the end of the stream yesterday. And uh, I think I do want to move the wagon. I think it's just a little bit too close to the, to the uh, lamppost. So I think we're going to nudge... I'm going to nudge the wagon, I think, towards the town. I feel like the lamppost is probably good where it is. So from this angle, I feel like the wagon should be kind of like in this space. And then if I look at it from the other direction... No, this is a multiplayer server. There's five-ish people that play on a regular basis. So unfortunately from here it looks good as far as this direction. I feel like it's a little bit maybe too close to uh, the lamppost in the, in the front back. So pushing it back towards the town probably be a good, good idea. We're not going to be able to walk behind it when I do that though. That's the only thing. And then from this angle, yeah, I feel like it would be better off back that space. Of course, it's going to get dark now, which makes it hard to see. Yeah, so I think moving it into like that position would be better. We're just going to rebuild it. It'll be fine. And it won't make a big difference on this side. It'll just end up being a little bit closer to us, but that's fine. Squeal it with 100 bits. Thanks so much. Got another minute left on that level two hype train if anybody wants to try to jump in. <clears throat> I also need more carrots. It's gonna be number one, I think, on the to-do list. Uh, I'm gonna need more of these. Uh, signs. Wow. Running low on the signs. We're going to have to make more of these anyway. We should be good. Um, what else? Is part of that. Dark oak trapdoors. I 
okay. Did I bring the birch out here? I don't think I did. Right. I'll just move that one. That is the end of that level two hype train. Sorry, level one hype train. And I got a dizzy frog, I think, for an emote. Uh, Banana Elk 29, we are working on this addition to the crossroads, this detail. I'm just going to try and move this. Um, this cart. So my first guess is to get the front of the cart behind the the post. However, it might not be just moving the cart. I might also move the post forward, although I kind of like where it is. This one's pretty close to the road, though, as is that one. So... I feel like I could probably move this up by one block to there. And that would give me some room. So if that goes up to there and I move the cart back to maybe here. That goes up to there. on the outside they are oh it's got stairs I forgot it had stairs I could just tear it down but I kind of want to see both of them together to see what they would like what the positions look like compared to the previous position am I making sense probably not good thing I don't speak for a living There. Use some temporary blocks here. That's that. And then got double trap doors. Uh, I'll just put that there for now. Licking Slotto, thanks very much for the follow. Did you mean to make a rhyme? Yeah, I think once I move the light, it'll be better. All right, why am I walking around? I've got a camera. Yeah, definitely a better position from over here. Slightly better. I might want to push it 
I've moved it ahead too. I might want to push it back by one so it doesn't overlap the light. Yeah. I really wish we could put it on an angle, but I don't think we can. All right, let's try it back by a block to there. So I need more of these trapdoors here. got birch and then nothing so I'll just put a hay bale in here for now which I don't know we might end up keeping that oh that was supposed to go there Now it's a wagon train, a uh, wagon tank. <laughs> Looks like it had tire treads for uh, tank treads for a second. Whoops. Uh, would I keep both carts? Uh, no. I don't think so. I know I I uh keep on building it all the way to the end, but I feel like I feel like I might want to change that to birch. Yeah, I prefer that I think for the location. And once I move the light up a little bit, it'll be a little bit easier to see. Looks a good. The Vampire Maid. Thanks very much. Yeah, having a good day so far. Was listening to some podcasts and doing some, I guess, email stuff this morning. Not at the same time. Podcast was a lunchtime thing. You finally get a new PC? Fantastic. I'm behind on the need to get a PC. So I'm thinking that this might look better as birch. A little closer to the hay color, but not quite the same. I'm still not sure about that um, that block, the slab, sandstone. Yeah, 
I think once we move the light, it'll be okay. Certainly looks good from that angle. I think the, the two angles I was most concerned about were the east and the west. It's just this way, it does not look as nice. I think the only way to make it look nicer this way would be to move it backwards. But one solution to that is moving the lamp forward. I think to at least here. It's not going to make a huge difference. Thanks for the lurk, Vampire Maid. Appreciate it. Blast Jordan. I'm not sure if I said hello to you, but hello. So that's the only issue right now is that I think the wagon is a little bit overlapping with the, the lamp. I could probably push it back by another one. I don't really feel like rebuilding this again, but... I think the only other thing now is that, of course, we can't really walk behind it very easily. I'm thinking maybe if I move it back, then this will feel like more of a path between. I mean, I could make the, the dirt larger. I could just come out here more. I don't know that one block would really make a difference. Actually, yeah, it would, wouldn't it? All right. Here we go again. Double check to make sure this is in the right spot. Yep. I'm glad it's easy to build. Also, happy accident, I might like the hay piled up like that. Now it might be a bit much.
wonder if I can go with a different block here. No, that just looks like it's part of the cart. Yeah, you can't see much from the front, so I feel like I do need to add that pile, you know? I feel like this makes a lot of sense. I can't remember how this one... I think I had this the other way. I think this is meant to go this way. I was practicing with an elytra and my computer couldn't keep up. Oh no, that sucks. That can be... That can be deadly. So very quickly when you approach, they separate. So that's good. I'm really tempted to move this... This light again, but... I don't want it to... Be in line with this one. We're already just a block off, so... I think that's where I'm going to leave it. And so this feels like more of a path in between, so that's good. So if you were leaving this place and you're on foot, chances are you'd cut across the, the dirt here. And this feels like a pretty natural path. I don't think I need to take this dirt out around the back of this. So we should be okay. I can maybe rough up, rough up the grass a bit here and make it look like maybe the wagon backed over it. Oh, I guess I should have double checked the birch. I think we've got one piece of birch in there. I don't think we need to have two. Should be fine. I wonder instead of, um, instead of, uh, signs on the back, or maybe I could do both. I could have like the platform there. It feels a little bit strange. I wonder what else I could put on the back of this. Could certainly put a mini block there. That would take up the block space though. I don't know. I feel like statue. Oh yeah, like I could do like an armor stand thing. I don't know. I feel like it looks a little bit funny. Yeah, I guess I'll just leave it for now. Can always come back to it. I wonder if there's a way to make this look like a hinge. Yeah, probably. There's probably a better character to use, but this will do for now.
Uh, it's an ar- the, the data pack is called Armor Statues, Sandy. That's probably what you were thinking of. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. So over here, I did something very similar with cart. And mushroom block is the other thing that I need. As well as green carpet. Not carpet, green wool. Mushroom block, that's there. And green wool. That was probably in here. Yeah, it was. Whoops. How are the items in the shulker boxes? That is the mod from Iskal 85s team. Uh, it's called Shulker Plus. Shulker Plus. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any metadata attached to it to show you like details like this one's got details this one's got nothing uh, but if you google or look for shulker plus on modrinth.com then you should be able to find it it is not updated to 1.21 so when we update the server it won't work So right away, I want to make sure I go darker underneath this. And I could have sworn that I did that over here too. Oh, I used green. Okay. We'll have to come up with something else for under there. Might be able to use this. So I don't know if this is going to look good, but we'll see. Maybe we don't connect it right away. I just kind of suggest that there are trails. Maybe I'll put mushroom there. Mm. 
yeah, I think that's enough of a suggestion. I want to get in a little bit more green, that's for sure. That works. I may want to swap out, sw uh, swap out some darker colors for under there too. Maybe I'll go get some darker. I don't have a lot. It's like. Stripped dark oak. Oh, mangrove would be good. And soul soil is probably too dark. And once again, we are very low on space. Yeah, I almost prefer the mangrove over the um, spruce. Maybe we can put the spruce over here. Not bad. I think maybe we can squeeze in a couple of sunken bushes through here. Maybe we'll switch them. That, that looks pretty good. I like that it kind of crouches in over the grass a bit. Do I have andesite? I do. So along here where it meets the road, I want to rough this up a little bit more.
Beds everywhere. Blast Jordan, thanks for the lurk. Moth Duty, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. I'm sure it's all the flying, but I feel like I have to eat constantly when I'm doing these landscaping streams. Someone needs to use all the beds. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know how often any of the other people on the server come and visit this place. roughed up pretty good there. I need a little bit more happening through here. And try to push it out a little bit here, maybe. Although, I kind of like that edge. I think that's probably good. Don't want to overdo it. I think that looks all right. As far as this, again, I'll say this half, I'll say that's pretty solid. Wash your 10 ton hammer, welcome in. That's kind of repetitive, isn't it? Maybe we'll just use the moss a little bit. Oh, same. That's a cool little feature. Maybe we can add a little bit there. Sort of works. Red Woodcrafts and who else has followed? Slaking Slotto, I think I already said hi. Thanks for the follow, Redwood. 
Yeah, less and less empty space to landscape for sure. So now, you know, we've got instead of this long path, we sort of have like this section and then this section. I mean, there's really not much more that needs to be done here, right? Like just a couple of blades of grass and we're probably okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. I, I always want like one more darker earth texture. But then I don't know where I would put it, so probably a sign to step away. Uh, now over here though, actually I don't mind that little patch of dirt there. Maybe I can, um, I do like that too. I don't have the space. back here not sure I'm crazy about that but at least that's gray Maybe if I swap this for gravel. A little better. I think maybe I've got them in the reverse of what they should be. Crazy, I've been hearing you talk about this world for a long time on Spun Chunks, but I've never gotten a chance to catch one of your streams. Well, that's very cool. Wash, thanks for coming in. Really appreciate that you're listening to the Spun Chunks podcast, too. That's nice. If you're curious, there are VODs. Uh, the entirety of this whole build, everything is all on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. You can see all the details. They all have interiors. There's roads and connective details and all kinds of different stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff outside the town now too. A lot of landscaping. That's what we're working on over here, of course, is the landscaping stuff. Vampire Mate says, I've only been here for a year and a bit, and you've done so much. Yeah, I mean, if somebody pops over to Joel Duggan VODs and takes a look at the VODs from July 11th, 2023, let's see if I can guess what I was working on in, in July last year. Um, My guess is something over here on the west side. I don't think I was redoing the keep. 
by then. I think it was probably somewhere around here. The canal? No, the river work was more recent, I think. I want to say somewhere on the west side. Probably like this build or maybe like the mansion or something. I've got no sense of when things were done. I'm just, that's a, that's a guess. That's a guess. Um, Banana Elk, thanks very much. Dab, thank you. Yeah, the Shulker continent has taken over the road. Yeah, there's a lot of Shulkers over here. I think you actually found the Spongebob's podcast from here. Wow. Normally, it's the other way around. Normally, it's the amount of people that listen to the Spongebob's are what ends up coming into, into my stream. And I'm not complaining. Um, that's just like the, the nature of how it goes usually. A bit too dark. So I've got a bit too much happening here as far as the green goes. Fazu Battlecaster, hello, hello. Just a few minutes before your next meeting. Well, thanks for staying high. Appreciate it. I'm glad I don't have to do meetings anymore. They were never my never my thing. I feel like we can probably put in some grass along here too. How did I handle these ones? I feel like these had less grass close to the bush blocks. Ah, uh, it was more, more of the azalea saplings. I knew there was another texture shift. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Do these only stack to 16? That would explain a lot of inventory issues. A 
looked at the YouTube VODs, one year ago lists Raising the Keep, West Ridge Bridge, South Road Approach, and the South Curtain Wall. Raising the Keep. All right. Well, I was, I was almost, I, I, I had guessed that I, that I wasn't quite on the keep, but that makes sense. West Ridge Bridge, West Ridge Bridge. That's that. This is the West Ridge Bridge. I probably just had them split up in my inventory then, Sandy. Thank you. You came way before that? What was two years ago? I don't just look it up. All of my um all of my VODs have playlists based on the year, and then everything is pretty well named. And so if you just go by the release date of the video, the release dates of the video are, are within a week of the stream usually often like the next day but at least within a week i try to stay on top of the vod the vod releases Oops. Uh, will you update to 1.21 eventually? Yes, we're waiting for mods and data packs to catch up. I don't know whether the tables and chairs data pack is going to get there or not. Love the leaves on the ground. Leaves. Oh, this? Yeah. Uh, really effective over here. I wanted something that would be uh, like something that looked like it wouldn't be something you'd want to walk across. You know, because otherwise you'd just walk straight over there, right? Instead of taking the path. And so I thought if I put this here, it kind of gives like the rock plus thistles or like unsteady ground. It's hard to communicate in Minecraft because you only have so many pixels to play with, but I wanted this to look like rocky, uneven ground. Wouldn't want to drive a cart across there. Wouldn't want to walk across there. I think it looks kind of like brambles or thistles or I don't know, something like that. Do you remember what was first built? Uh, yep, the gate. Pretty sure it was the gate. As far as the town. In the area, it was that pumpkin farm. Or I guess technically it was... I don't remember whether the bridge came first or whether the pumpkin farm came first. Not pumpkin, potato. Potato farm. Um, yeah, so... The bridge or the potato farm. That was like November of 20... 20 and then December of 2020 was this uh, and it had a different top on it at the time bridge was there when you started the farm in November so then I did the bridge first sweet Sandy thank you for the reminder much appreciated Seeing as it's raining and getting dark, I'll take the break right away. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. It's a, maybe a little bit too patterned. I might have done a little bit too much on the texture. Yeah, I might have to thin this out a bit, and obviously I need to fill in this space. But we're getting there. And your dog needs to go outside. <laughs> Fair. It was East Town when I was right before making the foundations of the keep. Uh, I was here for the whole keep build, so three years ago. Wow, that's awesome. Thanks for sticking around for so long. If you're new to the stream, as I think some of you are, I take a stream break once an hour. I just reheat my coffee, give myself a little bit of a stretch. It's about five or six minutes. Uh, you should too. Grab a snack, uh, grab a friend, 
I'm trying to grow the channel. So if you know someone that you think would like this, then there's a tweet out there. There's an Instagram story. It's all just at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. And um, you can always just send a friend a DM too. text them and be like, hey, hanging out in Joel's stream. Come on and hang out. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
So let's see if we can fix this texture a little bit. Poke some holes in it. First, we're going to have to get rid of some friends, though. Wow. It is dark out here, apparently. Oh, you know what? We're just going to fly. <laughs> Forget that noise. I don't really feel like accidentally blowing up any of the texture work that I've been doing, so... We'll just take a little flight around the river here. Pretty cool view. Get a little bit higher. It's a lot of work. Still a few things left to do. This is feeling really good, though. It's going to look really cool when it's all done. Let's. This is a little bit too much of a checkerboard. That's better. I think maybe the green is the problem. I do like the way that the um, spruce works with the moss. Maybe we'll put some more of that over here. If I use much of the mushroom, well, a little bit. It feels again very much like a checkerboard. Oh, you know what? I haven't really done much of this. Oh no, it's the wrong tone, isn't it? That looks pretty good. We'll just add in some more grass around. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Lily loves 200. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Tea acquired, says Sweelet. I've never been much of a treat tea drinker. I do like it sometimes. I like a chai tea latte, but 
Most of the time I'm a coffee guy. I feel like I could use some buttons or something. Not sure where, maybe there. Oops. Can't really think of anything else. Uh, feels like we got a decent shadow underneath the cart. All the details are in the cart. I could put an armor stand up there, but I don't know. I don't know if I really need to. Yeah, I think I think we're good. No, it's still too close. It's I, I keep on wanting to add layers to this, but it's really hard to figure out where to put the grass. Guess I don't need that. Didn't end up using much of the uh, the wool. Just enough of it, I guess. Yeah, I'd say we're good. Cool. So I really don't know if there has to be anything else in through here. I think that's that's pretty good. We just now have to f think about like what's happening in this space and this other space, and I and I really don't know. Like I really have not thought much about what I could put there other than just like bushes you know like more just well maybe not in a straight line but you know just more stuff like that but that just ends up blocking the view of the marsh so like I don't know if that's really the best solution Maybe I can put something on the ground like that. Eh, it's, it's okay. So I just really don't know. 
And that's fine. We don't have to figure it all out right now. Some stone pile like that on the other side. Yeah, maybe. I'm just thinking like a stone there might not make a lot of sense, but we'll have to see. Maybe I just need to, like, I could put a big rock there, but then again, that's just like the bushes. That's going to block the view. But yeah, I could do like a stone peeking out of the ground, like slabs or something maybe. Similar to what's happening over here. I'm just, I'm trying not to, you know, recycle ideas. I want to try to come up with something new. And this is where, like, it would be nice if I waited until I updated to 1.21, because then I could do tough slabs, and we could have, like, a very green-looking rock here, and that would probably look pretty cool. Right? I feel like that would be good. Some gray right there would probably make a difference. Now, Grandpa Crafter, Weeping Willow is just going to block the swamp even more, right? Uh, slabs. I guess I'll do cobblestone. Or no, I guess we'll do andesite for now. So just try to imagine these as um, tough. And like right there. Hit refresh by accident. So from a compositional standpoint, a bit of gray in there wouldn't be so bad. But I would love if it was tough. I think that would make a big difference. So I got here. Yeah. I mean, even the slabs are a little bit higher than I want them to be, right? Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. The Minecraft problem, we need all the blocks and we don't have room for them. Well, that and I just haven't updated a 1.21 yet. 
Uh, do drowns spawn if there's deep water? Uh, J. Christ, yeah, it's a light level thing. Uh, it's biome dependent. I want to say it's river. It has to be a river or an ocean. And then it has to have a light level below a certain threshold. It's not zero. I want to say it's five or seven. It's a question for the wiki or the chat room if anybody knows. But yeah, it's not it's not water depth dependent. It is light level dependent. But that's also um, that usually is is what happens in deep water is the light level goes down. But you could force it. Like if you had a dark room and you only had like I think like one layer of water or two layers of water, then that would work. All right. So I really I really feel like that should be tough as I feel like it's too similar. Andesite is too similar to what's behind it. So if I if this was tough slabs, then that would be great. So I'm gonna make a note of that. I feel like that makes a lot of sense there. Maybe we can decorate around that. I'm I'm gonna have to come back to that and finish it later. But I think it gives a nice um balance. And maybe put it a little bit central and then maybe a little bit straight. Maybe I want to put it on more of an angle, you know? But I want to go write that down in the book before I forget. Uh, Worn Dirt Corner. We actually just did that. Wagon Cart did that. Southwest Corner. Uh, I also need to do... This is... Uh... Tough slab rock at gate. We'll say near gate, maybe. Typical. Check something off and then add something else. How do I find the light levels without a mod? Uh, F3 screen if you're on Java. I don't know if you can do it on Bedrock. Yeah, on the F3. Now I've got an F3 mod that makes it easy to read. Uh, but the... Where did I put the light levels for this? Um, light level server. Yeah, see the block, the block light changing two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six. It's uh, right by the button. Those two numbers, four, five, four, five. Um, I use a heads up display mod. What's it called? Mini HUD. And so I've got Mini HUD attached to a hotkey so I can just look at the light levels. So you can see where it's very dark. <laughs> Lots of zeros. I have cracked. I don't think I have any cracked bricks. Can I ask what mix of blocks you're using for the dirt? Uh, yep. 
from lightest to darkest it is rooted dirt brown mushroom block packed mud coarse dirt and then stripped spruce wood uh oh also brown concrete powder that would be the darkest probably probably that's the order yeah rooted dirt brown mushroom block packed mud strip spruce coarse dirt brown concrete powder and then from there it goes into mangrove and then soul soil so for places well i can't see in the dark hold on I need to clear out this inventory anyway. Ah, breathing room. Yeah, the mushroom block is tricky. It's not always something that is useful. It's a little bit smooth. But most of what I'm using is rude dirt, mud, packed mud, uh, concrete powder. The spruce goes really well next to the uh, moss. Uh, every now and again, I throw in a trapdoor or something. But then under trees, what I've been doing is uh, that soul soil, soul sand, muddy mangrove roots, mangrove roots with some coarse dirt and a little bit of... Uh, that's a coarse dirt slab. That's a data pack. Um, but it's the same texture. That's vanilla coarse dirt. Like, there's nothing different about that. In terms of the texture, it's just on, it's on slab. All right, so the other thing that was on my list was fixing uh, this thing on the left-hand side. So I feel like that makes a lot of sense now. I think it looks pretty good. I also think that it keeps it from looking too symmetrical. So we've got footpaths going off that way footpath going that way we've got uh kind of like you cut the corner but also this is very likely where people would pull their wagons over so that's cool uh i do like that i think we might change the shape of it but i do like it uh, i don't know what's happening there then here you can see I think this is pretty good. This feels a little empty, but I don't want to mess around with too much. This is feeling a little strange. Uh, I think we need to do another path here. I don't know what that means for that little triangle bit. But as far as like walking into the main center here, you can take this road. If you're going to cut right, this feels pretty natural. This doesn't feel like it's too outside of the norm, right? But if you want to go up the farm road, you have to kind of go all the way in over here and then turn. And that feels silly. So if I was to walk out here, I would say I would probably turn probably like right here. Yeah. Whoops. That's not going to be... No. All right, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. That's probably more than enough. Uh, 
That's going to feel really straight, I think. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I'm trying not to destroy stuff, but I keep on choosing the wrong wrong tool. That looks like it might make sense. So the trick I find with these paths is to just draw out one side of it and then double up on it. And then you can come back in and then start to shape it a bit. So you can like add a little bit of width there. Maybe you want to add a little bit of width here. Maybe it makes more sense to have that on the outside. Feels pretty good. I don't know about that. Hey, the mighty Alcorn is here. How's it going? Yeah, the texture is broken for the pebbles right now. It sucks. And I put all my dirt texture blocks back. I think along here we could even soften this up a little bit.
Ah, it's a little bit too close to one another. Just leave it like that. Sometimes you just get into a flow. Things come together pretty quick. So I like the path. I don't know about the weird green triangle we've left in the middle, but the path itself is okay. Again, the stripped um, spruce looks really good with moss. And I find putting dark blocks near, um, not staircases, but like slopes, I find really good. Little logical things like people stepping harder when they're going up and down hills and that kind of stuff. Let's switch this out to something else. It's hard not to overdo it sometimes. This is where my pebble texture comes in really handy. It's just enough to break up this kind of stuff. I do find it better sometimes if you keep the grass away from your paths. It almost helps with the illusion of the grass kind of like gradually getting shorter.
just to make it look a little bit different in the background there. All right, so that feels pretty good. This feels very weird, though. I've got no clue what to do here. I'm not entirely sure I like this teeny little point. At least not as green. That might be better off. As wood. So yes, yeah, so we've got this strange little triangle. Although here we could probably trim it down a little bit too. Sometimes even just one block helps a little bit. I'd be inclined to even push that back. Doesn't help when you've got seeds clogging up your inventory either. Slightly better shape, anyway. Feels more like you can kind of go around the corner. And this doesn't have any texture going on, either. It's always hard with the slabs, because, of course, the slabs don't have any other texture other than planks, which is not great. Let's flip that. Yeah. Not bad.
So the road is supposed to have a clear shoulder, but I like to mess it up whenever we cross over it a lot. Squeal it, all good. Thanks for the lurk. Dancing Dave, hello. Sorry if I missed saying hello to you. Yeah, it's a data pack. Uh, the core start slab. I think I made it available to my community in the Discord at some point. I know people on Infinity Cove have it. That's my patron server. Dancing Dave with 100 bits. Thanks very much. That's very kind of you. If anybody's curious about the community and, uh, and wants to contribute to join, there's a Patreon page, which is uh, just Joel Duggan, patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. And it's uh, less than a cup of coffee for a whole month of access to the Patreon page. Alright, let's just walk through here. See how this looks. See, that to me looks pretty interesting. I feel like there's a lot going on there. It's not... Um, it's not too busy, but it's not plain. Obviously, we haven't textured the road. I, I always leave that to last. I want to make sure I know what's happening on the other side because if I, if I ever had to move the road like a block or two left or right bad bad news if you've already textured it it's so much easier to just wait until the the very end the only thing that feels a little strange is maybe this corner here i'm wondering if that could be a little smoother but nah you know i think we're okay I mean, even one block might might help. Oops. Just a little different. Yeah. Sometimes you're just not dealing with enough resolution to really do what you want. Cool. And then over here, the only thing I just don't know what to do with is the uh, this weird triangle in the middle. I guess I could put a bush in here. I guess that's okay. that then I'm gonna to want to 
probably add some carpet. And then maybe switch out some of the blocks underneath the grass. I need more moss, I need more moss. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow. Start building and play some blocks and see what happens. I do find I end up redoing things a lot. You know, like I sketch something down quickly and then I end up replacing blocks and I have to replace the ferns and all that stuff, but I, I feel like it's worth it most of the time. Yeah, it just kind of feels like a nondescript bush. I wonder actually if this could be better off like that. That's a little thicker. Right, I want grass there, so we're gonna have to switch that. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, certainly directs you either left or right. You don't really feel like you can go through there, right? It doesn't even feel like you can go that way. Like it feels like you'd want to go up and around. At least a little bit. I wonder what a bush would look like here. Hmm, maybe not. I find if you add a lot of something, like a lot of the ferns, it starts to feel like a, a, like a whole new kind of plant. I 
I wonder if I can change this as well. Well, that feels better. Now it really feels like you can't go through there. Yeah, that's better. Very cool. Well, I think that actually worked out just in the nick of time. So that is the end of my stream today. Uh, I am going to pass y'all along to Scotsman UK, who is a member of this community, been around for a while, is uh, working on a long-term build and long-term world of their own, which is very, very cool. Uh, we're going to wait for the sun to set so I can show you what we were working on today. Uh, you can also do things like listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast. They are the other two things that I do, part of my job. The Spawn Chunks is available on Mondays, uh, sometimes closer to Tuesdays, but definitely Mondays. And the Citadel Cafe comes out a couple times a month, but the Spawn Chunks is weekly. And the Spawn Chunks is, of course, all about Minecraft. The Citadel Cafe is about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. We've been talking a lot about the Acolyte the last of the while. On the latest episode, we talked about the Acolyte and Tetris, the movie from 2023, I want to say. It was a good time. Steven and I had a good discussion. Steven plays on the server with me. Steven streams on Sunday mornings. It's Steven ESC here on Twitch. I'm uh, available on all the social medias that you follow that make a difference. Instagram, Twitter, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And I mentioned it already, but I'll mention it again. The Patreon. If you'd like to check out how to support my work, then patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. $2 gets you access to the Discord. There's also a patron server. If you want to hang out and check that out, then um, by all means, shoot us a question if you have any. Happy to answer them. And uh, I think you'll find that the folks here in the chat and the folks here in the Discord are very similar in vibe. And I think you'd have a good time. So today, we wrapped up uh, the details around the crossroads. Uh, at least as far as I can go without having tough slabs, which is what I want for that rock. I... Uh, I'm quite happy with the four corners now. I think they look different and I think they look interesting and I think they have some purpose to it, uh, especially on the map. Uh, we may want to add something more interesting here, but for now, I think it's just that it, it looks kind of empty on the map, but in real life, it's actually not so bad. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I don't know yet what's happening over in these two lawns. We'll have to figure that out as time goes by. Uh, but we had a lot of... Uh, a lot of success, I think, changing this corner. Because this corner used to look... This used to look just like this one. And I think this is a much better much better way to go about it. Cool. All right, folks. I'll pass you on to Scotsman. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you back here tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic where we will be building this, the main gate in LEGO, live on the Friday LEGO Let's Chat. Bye for now. <laughs>